Hello friends, let us discuss a few properties of divisibility. Now before we discuss the properties, let us see what divisibility criteria is. Now we say that a number A divides another number B or we write it as A divides B. Now what does this mean? For example, we can say that the number 3 divides 12 or 12 is divisible by 3. In that case, I can write the number 12 as 3 into another number 4. So 3 into 4 gives me 12 or we say that 3 divides 12 or A divides B. So in that case, the given number B can be written as A into another number C where C happens to be an integer. So C belongs to Z. So we'll take a few more examples. We say that 5 divides 20 or we can say that 20 can be written as 5 into 4 whereas we say that 5 does not divide 21 right so 5 does not divide 21 or 21 is not divisible by 5 so with this fundamental understanding of divisibility let us discuss a few properties of divisibility the first property if a and b are non-zero integers such that a divides b and b divides a then we can say that a is equal to plus or minus b so here a and b are non-zero integers and a divides b and b divides a so how do we prove this so let us see the proof so since a divides b, so a divides b, which means b can be written as some constant k1 into a, right? So where k1 belongs to the set of integers. Now similarly, since b divides a, I can write a equal to another value k2 into b, where k2 belongs to the set of integers z. Now I call this as 1 and this is 2. Now multiply 1 and 2. So you have b into a equals k1 into k2 into a into b. Now when is b into a equal to a into b? So this happens when k1 is equal to k2 is equal to 1 or k1 is equal to k2 is equal to minus 1. Or we can say that a is equal to b or a can be equal to minus b so therefore we say that a is equal to plus or minus b the second property if a divides b and b divides c then we conclude that a divides c now how do we prove this so let's first take an example now if a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4 and then if I have c equal to 16 we know that 2 divides 4 and here we have 4 divides 16 which is b divides 16 and also a divides 16 so 2 divides 16 a divides b which implies that b is equal to k1 into a call this as 1 where k1 belongs to the set of integers so similarly b divides c which implies that c is equal to k2 into b equation 2 where k2 belongs to z right so c equals k2 into b but what is b b is nothing but k1 into a right so therefore here i have c equals k2 into k1 k2 into k1 into a now can I call this as another value k3 because k1 is an integer, k2 is an integer. You multiply two integers, you get another integer k3. So k3 into a where k3 also belongs to the set of integers. So if c equals k3 into a then definitely a divides c. So we have already taken an example and we have shown that if a divides b and if b divides c therefore a will definitely divide c 3 if a divides b and if a divides c then we have three relations 
a divides b plus c to a divides b minus c and 3 a divides b into c right so let's take a few examples so let a be equal to 2 let b be equal to 32 and let c be equal to 4. Now here we observe that a divides b plus c right so let me write the value now 2 definitely divides 32 plus 4 which is 36. Next a divides b minus c which implies 2 divides 32 minus 4 which is 28. So definitely 2 divides 28. Now a definitely will divide b into c. So 2 divides 32 into 4 definitely. So we have taken an example. So let us prove this. a divides b implies b is equal to k1 into a. So call this as 1 where k1 belongs to the set of integers z. Similarly a divides c which implies that c equals k2 into a which is equation 2 where k2 belongs to the set of integers z. Now let me add 1 and 2. When you add 1 and 2 you get b plus c equals k1 plus k2 into a. Now since k1 and k2 are integers k1 plus k2 is also an integer and therefore here we have a divides b plus c because b plus c equals k1 plus k2 into a so therefore a divides b plus c. Next perform subtraction 1 minus 2 so you get b minus c equals k1 minus k2 into a so again k1 minus k2 is an integer so therefore we can conclude that a divides b minus c and then the next one multiply 1 and 2 so we get b into c equals k1 into k2 into a and therefore a divides b into c very simple proof if a divides b and x is any integer then a divides b into x so proof a divides b which means b is equal to k1 into a right so let me call this as 1 where k1 belongs to a set of integers now multiply equation 1 on both the sides with x so x into b equals k1 into x into a now k1 is an integer x also is an integer which has been given so k1 into x can be written as k2 into a so you have x into b so x into b is equal to k1 into a so therefore we can conclude that a divides x into b or a divides b into x so let's take an example if a is equal to 2 and if b is equal to 8 we know that a divides b 2 divides 8 now here multiply both b and a with a value x so let x be 3 so therefore a 2 will definitely divide 8 into 3 which is 24 right so here we realize that if i multiply b with any integer x a will definitely divide b into x if a divides b if a divides b and if c divides d then a into c will definitely divide b into d so again this is a very simple proof so before we see the proof let's take a few examples now here i have 2 divides 4 and 3 divides 6 so this is a divides b and so this is c divides d so let me multiply a into c what is a into c 2 into 3 which is 6 will it divide 6 into 4 24 yes so 6 divides 24 so you can take a number of examples so let's see the proof now here a divides b which implies b equals k1 into a where k1 is an integer belongs to a set of integers call this as 1 c divides d which implies that 
d is equal to k2 into c. So call this as 2 where k2 belongs to a set of integers. Now multiply 1 and 2. So you have b into d equals k1 into k2 into a into c. Right? So k1 into k2 is again an integer because k1 is an integer, k2 also is an integer. So therefore we conclude that a into c divides b into d. So sixth one, if a into c divides b into c, then a divides b if c is not equal to 0. Again, it's a very easy proof here. So before we see the proof, let us take a few examples. So I have a into c should divide b into c. Right? So let me take a to be equal to 2, b to be equal to 4, and let c be equal to 3. So observe a into c which is 6, 2 into 3 is 6, divides b into c, 4 into 3 which is 12, 4 3s are 12. Now if that is the case then definitely a divides b, 2 divides 4. a into c divides b into c which implies that b into c is equal to k1 into a into c. So b into c is equal to k1 into a into c where k1 belongs to a set of integers. Call this as equation 1. Divide equation 1 by c. So if I divide the entire equation by c I get b equals k1 into a or a divides b. So very simple proof for this property. So this completes most of the properties of divisibility. So all the properties are very simple and we have, we have seen the proof of all these properties by taking examples also. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and click on the bell icon to view all the other videos in cryptography as well as in engineering mathematics. And thanks for watching.